Beautiful conditions in Lautoka and Fiji. Want to go one better this year as William Havili gets it underway for Tonga. And just outside of the Australian 22 with up to task at the moment, but not rolling the call. Brendan Pickerel and Tonga, the early penalty, Willie. Well, this is that 10 spot as well. Sure, he defends at fullback and brought the ball back, which gave them that attacking mindset, and that's a beauty. That is just what the doctor ordered. Samuel Amoli, early chance for Tonga. Can they convert it? Fafita goes up. The mall is set. And Australia will just try and drive them toward the far touch. Still going here. Tonga. Close. They're over. And it is the hooker that gets it. Samuel Amoli. Well, William Harvilli started it with a fantastic kick to the corner. The mall was set. And that's how you do it, Willie Lossack. Well, they've been in camp for three weeks now, and so with that comes a lot of confidence. And in the past, they used to get it to the back and then get pushed back in that struggle. Now they get it back there, they bide their time, and every forward is doing the right thing of driving the legs, pumping the legs, and Molly gets in for the first of the afternoon. They wait again through Donaldson. Now Pollard just puts the head down. They try and get over it in the form of Samisi Paya. Taken forward strongly for Kete. And it's Tonga who win the penalty off their feet. The Australians. And they get some respite. Campbell fires in for Peach. One of the stars for the Waratahs in Super Rugby, Peach. Peach still going. Peach! How good is he on his feet? Strong off his wing. The man out of the Melbourne Rebels holds on. Lonigan away for Donaldson again for Ketty. This is brilliant from the Australians. Campbell, Dungunu. Oh, that's magic. Filippo Dungunu for Australia A. Here is Campbell got involved on a number of occasions. Draw and pass two on one. I thought he got his foot out. I thought his right foot touched the sideline, but that's just me thinking in real time that he stepped out there, but he didn't. Just awareness to keep his feet up, put the ball down, and Australia take the lead. Australia A, Ben Tamiafuna, Pollard, Havili stabbing the kick through, but Timo Fanga, Nuku Peach is back. No, he's not, is he? Brendan Pickerel wants to take a look. That could be a try to Tonga. There wasn't much in it. It just manages to get enough on it there. Okay. Well, we drop out. He's got it. Crichton. Nice, now Uru again. He's been heavily involved in the opening 28 minutes, but that has been turned over. Brilliant work again at the breakdown from Ekali Tahi. And Avili just shifting it quickly. Fayanga Nuku stepping around. And Lungi Gleason. Good hands in the end to hold on to it. Lolo here. He gets the pass away too. Fanga Nuku. Excellent hands for Tuli Paya to try and set up the wing now. Manu Paya. And this is good build up play from Tonga. Oh, just losing it forward after all of that good work. The Australians through Pollard and now Sinclair takes it clean. Oh, the lovely ball from the hooker, Dongunu. He wants to. Cutting back on the angle, Lonigan. Lungi Gleeson! Outstanding from Australia. So good at scoring just before the break. I'd say the pass back to Dongunu was forward. The hooker, Pollard, running across. He just threw the ball into no man's land. Dongunu did the right thing in claiming it. And then Lungi Gleeson is just so dangerous with ball in hand. Try will be given. Here comes the kick. Dongunu on Tuitavuki. It's loose. Filippo Dongunu. He's got McCright in support. Oh, excellent from Australia. And Amos Stewart's going to score. You never let the rugby ball bounce. You just run straight up the middle of the field and hope that the ball arrives there. And it certainly does from McCright. Great line from Hamer Stewart. Australia score just before the break and just after. What can Samuel Molly do this time? That is clean. He's got it. The hooker under his right arm. He's looking for two. He gets two. Tom 
a hit back. Well, I love it when players just rub stuff in my face, saying you don't know what you're talking about. 100% correct when it comes to Molly. His earlier throw was a shocker. On this occasion, puts it on the money. Front of the line out, they showed some patience then. They showed the tongue and muscle where they just stayed together. Look at Lolo here, making sure he's connected to his hooker. Sinclair had come through thinking that he could stop it. No chance. And here come Tonga. So now a chance here for Tonga. Oh, big shot coming in. The man you'd like to be hit by, though, that's for sure. Lungi Gleeson, the size of him. Good shift today from Ben Tamifuna. And not out, so I can't find the touch. At the penalty, Filippo Dungunu. Okete driving him to the far touch. That's good pressure. Havili Talitui. He's a special player. Presidency to put it in the channel. Lonigan looks back at Pickerel, but away we go. Gleason, he's so powerful. Dongunu, here's the space. Wheels it round, and there is his second try of the day. No defence offered, and he draws in three defenders. And then just a lovely offload here to Dongunu, who showed in the first half his electric pace. In the second half, he just needed to run over this the white line in Fiji it is a good lead for Australia eh? but Kong up through Halo just try and get back in it down the back and here we go again could they get a triple from this position on the field it's looking good great defense from the Australians just repelling yeah Kelly Tay more Halo have got an advantage here again, getting themselves organized on attack. The halfback will go himself. Again, has to make plenty of tackles, the Australians. Tonga needs to be more accurate here. They can take their time and just set it. Australia won't contest. That's a good throw, an excellent take. They set again, with the hooker. Bonokalapi! Bang, 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 go Tonga from the rolling mall. Yeah, it's not pretty, but it's effective. Lovely work. If you start crabbing lateral, there's nothing wrong with just going with it. And then when you feel the spinners on, then you release and go. And that's exactly what Fono Kalafi did. Much better from the Tongans in the second half. Sinclair. Australians will try and ice it here if they can. And Tom Ross, now Stewart, love a second. They're in again, they scoot round and they score through Tuttle. Just doing everything right, winning the set piece, getting over the advantage line. And then there's just no one in close defence for the Tongans. He couldn't believe his luck. Parting of the Red Sea must have felt like Moses going through there. There's the real big difference between these two sides as well. The Australians having had a Super Rugby campaign under their belt and a lot of these Tongan players playing club rugby three weeks ago. So you can just see that the level and the difference that it has been, but nonetheless a better performance from Tonga in week three than what we no, saw Tim two weeks ago. Nuka will take it smartly. Says, get out of my way. Not sure the player was back. It's been lost forward is the call from Brendan Pickerel. And that'll be full time. Australia A do what they've needed to do in the opening game of the final round. They have beaten Ekali Tahitonga 39 points to 22.